Hi friends today we are going to learn about protection against overvoltage. Before this, please like share and do subscribe this YouTube channel, Engineering Knowledge. So let's start today's video. Overvoltage can be defined as. According to IEEE standard for insulation coordination, overvoltage is defined as. Voltage between one phase and ground or between two phases, having a crest value exceeding the corresponding crest of maximum system voltage. Overvoltages may be classified by shape and duration as either temporary or transient. Temporary overvoltage can be defined as an oscillatory phase to ground or phase to phase overvoltage that is at a given location of relatively long duration in seconds or even in minutes and that is undamped or only weakly damped. Transient overvoltage can be defined as a short duration highly damped, oscillatory, or non oscillatory overvoltage, having duration of few milliseconds or less. There are basically two causes of overvoltage, which are given here. First one is internal causes and second one is external cause. Internal causes is further classified as switching surges, insulation failure, arcing ground, resonance, and the external causes is lightning. Let's see all internal causes one by one. Switching surges is defined as a switching operation produces a sudden change in the circuit conditions. When an open-ended line is connected to a source of voltage traveling waves are set up which rapidly charge the line. On reaching the open end of the line these waves are totally reflected without change of sign thereby producing voltage doubling at that end. These reflected waves travel back to the supply end giving rise to further reflections. Insulation failure can be defined as. The insulation failure in a power system may take place in various ways such as. Between the conductors of an overhead line. The cores of an insulated cable, between one conductor, or core and earth. Arcing grounds can be defined as. It is experienced in insulated neutral system. Consider an alternator whose one phase has been connected to a long line which has got distributed inductance and capacitance to earth. As shown in figure the alternator winding can be imagined to be connected to earth through its capacitance. Resonance can be defined as. Resonance in an electrical circuit implies that the impedance of the circuit is purely resistive and the power factor is unity through that resonance the inductive reactance and capacitive reactance cancel out. And external causes having on example that is lightning phenomenon. And it is defined as lightning is a discharge of electrical energy. The strong negative charge at the base of the thunderstorm induces a positive charge at the surface by repulsion of electrons. If the electric field or the difference between the negative and positive charge regions is large enough. The insulator between the charge regions, the air, breaks down, and the lightning discharge can occur between the regions of positive and negative charge. These are mainly three main methods generally used for protection against lightning they are. Earthing screen. Overhead earth wire. Lightning arrestor or surge dividers. Earthing screen can be defined as. Earthing screen is generally used over electrical substation. In this arrangement a net of GI is, galvanized iron wire is mounted over the substation. The GI wires, used for earthing screen are properly grounded through different substation structures. It provides very low resistance path to the ground for lightning strokes. This method of high voltage protection is very simple and economic. Overhead earth wire can be defined as. Method similar as earthing screen. But difference is, an earthing screen is placed over an electrical substation, whereas overhead earth wire is placed over electrical transmission network. One or two stranded GI wires of suitable cross section are placed over the transmission conductors. These overhead ground wires or earth wire divert all the lightning strokes to the ground instead of allowing them to strike directly on the transmission conductors. Lightning arrestor can be defined as. The lightning arrestor is a device which provides very low impedance path to the ground for high voltage traveling waves. The concept of a lightning arrestor is very simple. This device behaves like a nonlinear electrical resistance. The resistance decreases as voltage increases and vice versa, after a certain level of voltage. Now let's see the function of a lightning arrestor. Under normal voltage level, these devices withstand easily the system voltage as electrical insulator and provide no conducting path to the system current. On occurrence of voltage surge in the system, these devices provide very low impedance path for the excess charge of the surge to the ground. After conducting the charges of surge, to the ground, the voltage becomes to its normal level. Then lightning arrestor regains its insulation properly and prevents regains its insulation property and prevents further conduction of current, to the ground. 
so this was all about over voltage concept and its classifications. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and do subscribe this YouTube channel Engineering Knowledge.